Greetings, one boy made it, one boy here. Oh, yes, so today I've been making fans. Uh, this fan is from the Silhouette Design uh, Studio and it is a fan that I believe right now I have three pieces of cardstock together because it cuts out and um, an underlay, it cuts out the floral overlay, and then it cuts out this, you know what, I don't even know if it cut out this third part, but I wanted to sandwich my stick in between, so I think I just cut out the third part, because um, a lot of the fans, of course, you just stick the stick on the back like that. This is a five by seven rectangle spit um, fan. What this one is, is a covered piece of chipboard. And it's a different weight for a fan, but it still feels really good. I also found in the Cricut um, design space a fan, um, a round fan, with, that is the same idea, where you have uh, this overlay that goes over. Now this paper is um, close to my heart, cardstock. And I wanted to kind of do the two contrasting. Do I have some things, have some more things to punch out? But what I wanted to do was put this, make this fan. So that's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make this fan and add the stick. And I think I'm going to embellish this with, because it, to me it has kind of like a, I don't know, ethnic African type feel. I was gonna embellish it with a cowie shell or two. So these are the cowie shells. These are like, they look like little, um, that's a cowie shell. So I was gonna put that on the fan. And the one thing I like about the fans and making fans since I've been playing around with it is that really, you can do as much or as little as you want to with a fan. You can use your embossing, your embossing powder, your flowers. You can do anything with the fan. For instance, here's a card that I made some time ago. It's a, just a, a greeting card. It says, you make me smile, sending you lots of laughs and love. And I was thinking, well, what if I put the card, it's a five by seven, what if I put the card on a stick and then we'd have a, a card stick <laughs> a card fan <laughs> but i mean you can really decorate it any way you want to when you're doing a fan so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to make that fan also whether you have a cricket silhouette or nothing it is possible to make great fans because you can just cut them out um rectangles or squares uh, one of the other things i wanted to try and i don't think i'll do it on this video because I've been trying to make my videos shorter is I wanted to see how I could make a fan with fabric to just cover for instance you know take this and cover it with fabric and then put a backing on it and just to see how that would work so what I'm saying is with the fan you can you know that would be like you know make a little fan so what I'm saying is that with the fans your imagination can go crazy Plus, it's something that is also practical. We think of it as something that's for the summertime. But um, I think a fan is something that can be used all year round. Sometimes I know in the winter, uh, I've been in apartments or homes that are just a little bit too warm. But nobody wants to tell uh, the person in charge of the heat or the landlord because they're afraid they might turn it down and not turn it back up when they really need it. So um, so sometimes I've gone places where a fan would be like just really handy no, no matter what time of year. So these are the pieces that I'm going to be using to make my circular fan. This design is from the Cricut Design Library. And um, the cardstock is close to my heart, cardstock. And this particular cardstock on both sides, there's something happening. One side the, is more prominent and the second side is more muted, but it's the same design. And so what I think I'm gonna do with this fan is I'm actually gonna put, do I wanna do that? I think I'm gonna, hmm. 
I think I'm going to put this side, um, as use this side as the overlay, and then use this side as the backing. So it's pretty much straightforward from here. I'm just going to glue, and um, I'm using Aileen's Original Tacky Glue. Um, one of the things about crafting is after a while you have so much stuff you forget what you had. And I totally forgot that I had this called Stick It Paper. And the idea of the Stick It Paper, which I also got ordered from Amazon, um, the Stick It Paper is that it comes in these little sheets like this. And when you know you're going to be cutting out something that's intricate or like this, the idea is you're supposed to remember to put this on the paper before you cut it. And then when you cut it, it it's already has an adhesive on it and you, it's just a matter of re removing the paper. But I forgot that I had that until I'd already cut this out. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the glue and just be as careful as I can because we don't want the glue. So... Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, this. I really like this glue, it's really strong and effective. Okay, so I'm going to take this little now and kind of, now the thing with this is that there's this little thing at the top. I'll show you. So... There's this little, um, let me get this down and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, there's a little cut at the top that, like right here. So I'm lining up this with that and this doesn't, unlike this fan here, it doesn't take up the whole um, space. It's a short space like that. So we're going to get that down and let that do its thing okay now I'm actually going to turn this I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and put this back on and I'm just going to leave a little space so that I can slide the stick in. I think that's going to work. And I said I was going to leave a space for my stick and then I forgot but I'm going to go ahead and eyeball where the stick's gonna go and we have this little circle to kind of help us get that straight And so that's basically it. We're going to wait for it to dry before we fan with it. But this, this, I really love this glue. It's really good for projects like this. And um, already, if I wanted to, I could fan a little bit. But um, that's the fan. And I uh, just wanted to show that you can make all kinds, all shapes of fans. Here's one that I just made an octagon. And I'm going to let that dry a little bit, then we're going to go back with the embellishments. But the same deal is just, 
you just need two pieces of cardstock and a stick and you got yourself a fan. You can cut your paper any shape you want to. And so what I'm going to do with this fan is just go ahead and pretty much this one, there's no up or down, I don't think. This paper is not close to my heart paper. It came on a pad that I got at Michael's quite a while back. Um, it's just uh, decorated cardstock, fancy, fancy cardstock. I can see, you know, what I think would make really great uh, fans too is um, if anybody has the Anna Griffin paper because it's that floral vintage looking paper, I think that would be great for making fans as well. And we just kind of eyeball it and try to get it in the center. And this is when you're lining up right there. We'll put this right here. Okay. Okay. And so just that quick. We have another fan. So we'll let this one dry. And we're going to go back to this fan for a minute because I wanted to try, maybe I won't, but yes, I think I will. At least right here, I'm going to put this little cowie shell right there. And we'll have another, and I'll put another one. Nah. Nah. You know what? I, that's not working for me. You know what's going to work is I'm the... Rhinestones. Okay, this is it. Yes. Okay, and then we'll put a little one down here in the circle. Okay, and I think on the back we'll do one just so that it's not so lonely. Okay. All right. There's our fan. Until next time, stay cool. Peace.